the Lord called Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli, his priest, said, "You call me." Eli said, "No, I didn't call you. Go and sleep again." And three times like that, my brothers and sisters, Samuel got called by God, and he did not know. And Eli said to Samuel, "Next time when you hear the voice, the call, said, 'Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening.'" And the gospel today from John is also about the call, about the vocation. John's disciples were standing there, listen to John. And then Jesus approaching, and John says, "Here is the Lamb of God." Two disciples follow Jesus, and Jesus turn around and ask them, "What are you looking for?" And they ask Jesus, "Where are you staying?" And Jesus said, "Come and see." Both readings are so powerful for vocation discernment. And today, two questions raise up: How does God call us? Whom does God call? And the second question: How do I? How do we respond to God's call? I have to say that as a vocation director for the Redemptors here in the United States. Particularly of the Denver province, I travel three quarters of the country, and I know God calls each one of us, not just young and vibrant, but everyone. And God calls us because God wants us to be holy, and God wants us to serve others, love others, as much as that Jesus loved us. And God calls us to trust in God totally, totally, and hopefully we can trust one another. How does God call us? I have to say that God calls us whenever and wherever. Like God calls us while we are sleeping, like Samuel in the first reading of this weekend. God calls us while we are working. Like Matthew, at a tax collector. God calls the apostles while they are working as well. God calls us while we are committing sins, like God calls Saint Paul while he persecuting the Christian, the first century. God calls us while we are visiting the sick, like Saint Alphonsus. God calls us. While we are reading and studying, like Saint Augustine, while he reading the Bible, God calls us while we are standing, like two disciples of Saint John today, discussing, conversing. God calls us wherever and whenever we are. But the question is: Are we ready? Are we willing to listen? And to respond to God, how do we? How do I respond to God's call? You say that it's only just for priests and religious, but before priests and religious, I am. I was a mechanic. I was very. I don't want to say dumb, but I was very negative. I was very shy. But after I'm taking this route, I became so blessed. And so happy. I want to say I am so enthusiastic about God's love. I want to share with you uh, maybe a song that I wrote just uh, maybe a few months ago called "Dito" in Vietnamese, but I wanted to translate that into "Yes, Lord" in English.
It goes like this. Yes, Lord, I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'll be ready. Yes, Lord, I will depart to dive and follow you. Yes, Lord, I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'll be ready. Yes, Lord, I will depart to die and follow you. Meet the cause I embrace, meet the sick in power, meet with those I visit, meet children in courage. Yes, Lord, I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'll be ready. Yes, Lord, I will depart to die and follow you. The homeless I shelter, the captives liberate, the righteous I aspire, the sinners redemption. Yes, Lord, I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'll be ready. Yes, Lord, I will depart to die and follow you. Be not afraid, be ready. Be not unsure, God leads you. Fear not of death, God is life. Fear not the strong, God is with you. Yes, Lord, I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'll be ready. Yes, Lord, I will be born. Yes, Lord, I come and see. Yes, Lord, I come and see. Yes, Lord. I follow you. That's how I respond to God. Wherever I go, whomever I meet, I meet Christ. Whatever I do, I do for Christ. When I meet the sick, I visit. When I meet children, I encourage. When I meet widows, I visit them. The homeless I shelter. The captives liberate. And so I encourage each one of us here, no matter how young, how old, rich and poor, we can follow Christ. We can follow Jesus. So many needs out there. So many poor people out there. I found New York City. And New York City right now, 30% people living under poverty line. And so I encourage each one of us to listen well because God calls each one of us daily and every moment of our life. May God be with you and continue to inspire you and give you courage to say yes to Lord. Amen.